Well, hello everybody, Greg coming here from Good News for Israel. It's my great joy to be with you to take five and salah. I hope you're enjoying taking these few minutes and salahing every day or whenever you get to watch these videos. Well, today we're coming towards the end of this uh, series about uh, the sons of the prophets. Uh, we started that because Abram went to Bethel and we've been studying the whole uh, area of Bethel. And this is where the sons of the prophets were mentioned uh, we've taken this this journey of these this group called the Sons of the Prophets. We've come to the uh, the what we consider the last of the master prophets uh, before the Messiah came, and uh, his name's John the Baptist. In fact, uh, probably the end of the group that is known as the Sons of the Prophets. Uh, so we're going to look at the Book of Malachi and the last uh, chapter and the last verses of the Old Testament. Uh, Malachi was the final prophet in the Old Testament and he prophesied about the coming of Elijah. Now let's look uh, basically at this scripture, Malachi chapter 4 verse 5. Behold, I will send you Elijah the prophet before the coming of the great and dreadful day of the Lord. So several hundred years after this prophecy, uh, an angel appears to a priest named Zacharias. And we pick up that story in the New Testament in Luke chapter 1. And verse 13, and it says, But the angel said to him, Zacharias, Don't be afraid, Zacharias, for your prayer is heard, and your wife Elizabeth will bear you a son, and you shall call his name Yohanan, or John. And you shall have joy and gladness, and many will rejoice at his birth. For he will uh, be great in the sight of the Lord, and shall drink neither wine nor strong drink. He will also be filled with the Holy Spirit, even from his mother's womb. And he will turn many of the children of Israel to the Lord their God. He will go before him in the spirit and the power of Elijah to turn the hearts of the fathers to the children and the disobedient to the wisdom of the just to make ready a people prepared for the Lord. So very soon uh, we see an Elijah-like character come bursting onto the scene. Uh, in that very same region of the Jordan River as where Elijah crossed over with Elisha. And of course, his name was uh, Yohanan, or the, the son of Zacharias. We know him better as John the Baptist. So Mark chapter 1 and verse 1 uh, tells us a little bit about this. It says, The beginning of the gospel of Jesus Messiah, the Son of God, as it is written in the prophets, Behold, I send my messenger before your face, who will prepare your way before you. The voice of one crying in the wilderness, prepare the way of the Lord and make his paths straight. John came baptizing in the wilderness and preaching a baptism of repentance for the remission of sins. Verse 5, Then all the land of Judea and those from Jerusalem went out to him and were all baptized by him in the Jordan River, confessing their sins. Now John was clothed with camel hair and with a leather belt around his waist and he ate locusts and wild honey and he preached saying there comes one after me who is mightier than I whose sandal strap I'm not worthy to stoop down and loose I indeed baptize you with water but he will baptize you with the Holy Spirit so <laughs> let's have a look at this guy John the Baptist there he is there. I'm in mean, a rendition, a modern day rendition of John the Baptist. Uh, this guy in a camel's hair uh, down in the water of Jordan in the same place. Uh, that picture there makes it look quite a lot greener than it probably was. But anyway, it was down in the wilderness. And, uh, you know, he was um, uh, where Elijah and Elisha were, where Joshua also crossed over the, the river Jordan into the land. Uh, where eventually Jesus would come and walk across this very spot in his last journey up to Jerusalem. So it's quite a significant uh, you know, place on the river there. Let's just turn to um, Matthew chapter 11 and verse 13 to clarify um, this issue, or Jesus clarified it anyway, uh, regarding this man called John the Baptist. And so we see in Matthew 11, it says, just let me get that back up there. It says in Matthew 11, verse 13, For all the prophets and the law prophesied 
until John. And if you're willing to receive it, he is Elijah who is to come. He who has ears to hear, let him hear. So here's a man in the spirit and power of Elijah in the very same spot on the Jordan River as Moses stood with Joshua and the children of Israel. And uh, in those days, Elijah stood with Elisha with the sons of the prophets. And here he stands with his disciples, baptizing people in the Jordan River when Jesus appears on the scene. John identifies Jesus as the Messiah, if you recall, and the Lamb of God, and is called upon to baptize Jesus to fulfill all righteousness, right in that very spot near Jericho. And then he calls his own disciples, who are the sons of the prophet, to follow Jesus. Uh, so Jesus crosses again at this place with the disciples, who are the sons of Jesus, the sons of the prophets, on the day that he entered Jerusalem, as I've just said, for that very special Passover when he was to die for the sins of the nation of Israel and for the whole world. And afterwards, he would tell his disciples to go and make disciples of all nations, no longer needing a master prophet anymore because he, Jesus, is the master prophet, the high priest and the king of kings. And he would send his mantle, the Holy Spirit, to seal them, anoint them, empower them to go and complete the job and be his witnesses. And so the whole journey about these sons of the prophets, from Samuel the prophet, who, who had basically established this group called the sons of the prophets, or we would say disciples, comes all the way down the line through Elijah, through Elisha, down to John the Baptist, and finally even uh, Jesus himself, uh, John's, John's uh, disciples were passed over to Jesus. So God preserved his men in this fashion for more than a thousand years. Uh, isn't that absolutely fascinating, fantastic of the Lord? Well, look, that's it today. We've taken five and said, Lord, I pray uh, the Lord give you a fantastic day. And uh, we, we look forward to catching up, up with you next time. God bless you and bye for now.